hi viewers we are back again to give you some good actions uh this time around we are coming with still double hand grab but to the front we have exhausted to a certain level a backhand grab and which i know you're working on so please try and work on them it will help now let's take on the front hand grab from the collar double hand grab from the collar now we're going to see the first action oh before then let me quickly remind our viewers or first timers please don't hesitate subscribe watch the videos hit the bell and leave your comment but our regulars we still give you some you know kudos carry carry on go ahead watch and watch and watch and learn at the same time don't just stop by watching but also learn because it is a self-defense program which will help you whenever you might not know so let's take on the first action on the collar grab with two hands and how you can free yourself okay this is a firm double grab from the collar okay now what you do is you get yourself closer to him and then also give the same grab but is your this time the grab you're doing is different from what he's doing you only take a base from his collar and then your knuckles lock the knuckles you can see his face then pull as you're locking you're pulling to hit yourself you can see his face then you go to the ground pa and that's it It's simple, like I said. Now, for, for a clearer view, that lock is between the knuckle. You place the knuckle here and place the other one here and press in between. So you are only using the collar, the neck uh, collar here to just support your hand. But... The major thing is the knuckles that is pressing. Yeah, he's pressing the neck inward and pulling to yourself. So if you watch his face when that action was going on, you actually know that he was tense. Then finish up with a knee strike to the groin and that takes him off totally. Okay, let's do that one more time. Take the grab. Sink into him because don't don't go back. Instead, you this time you're going into him, and then cross your hand. If you do this way, you might not get it. He's doing the same way, but this time you cross your hand and then grab the neck here, the collar, and put your knuckles at the base and pull to yourself. You can see his face. What is happening? Now from here, you now take your strike, pull. <coughs> you can see that. Okay? All right. Now a question might come. What if he's not using stuff like this that has a comfortable base to grab? It doesn't matter. Whatever he's using, like I try to show, but the, pro, the, the issue is on the knuckles. This one, okay, let's do this. This is not there. Now, I'm now using the normal ground neck as the, the base now. I see grab, and then make sure that my hand, my knuckles lock there, and I pull. You can see the face. It's simple. So, the collar or whatever he's wearing does not matter. As far as you have something that pulls out here that you can hold and pull, and then lock and pull. If you want to finish him there on the ground, fine. But you've done the primary thing. You needed to free yourself from his grab, and that was done. All right. Okay. Now let's take the next one. Same grab, but another counter action to free yourself. One grab. Okay. Now this is how the sequence goes. Lift your hand, 
sink it in, bending a bit, and then come up with this. It doesn't go soft like this. Since I'm trying to show, I make it a bit soft. You clamp it and you turn. Now from here, you can throw a punch there. You can throw a kick there. You can throw that with this. Okay. Now let's take a swift action. Ready? See that even before you can end up with the other action, the hand is already up. All right, let's go again. Try to be as firm as you can. Go one. Are you see that the hand is already up? Palm, you can finish it. You can go here. Mm. Okay. Take it one more time. Doesn't matter how firm you, you, you are, same thing will happen. Sorry. Aye. Mm. Okay. Now let's take the third action. Okay? Take the grab again. All right. You come up with your double hand, elbow, strike to bend so that he can, if you, because if you don't lock here, you can move, he might, you decide not to bend the elbow. Sometimes he might bend, sometimes he might not. But for you to be very, very sure of what you are doing, so you lock here and open and turn in. As you turn in the next thing is a double strike. Boom! To the side. Then after the strike, you can wait to move here. So that way you want to move to there or there. Okay, grab again. This is how it goes. Sink in one. I see that? Boom! All right, now still in that process, there's something you might want to add. Let's, something you might want to add. After taking this one open, you can add this. And there. Add this. And there. Then, you might not want to throw. You just lock him down. You might think he's enjoying it. It's not, he's in trouble. Lock him down. Sink and sink. Then you can throw. Okay, now let's do that a bit swiftly. Right. I I know you've you found it somehow interesting and somehow doubting whether is it possible or not. I keep telling you, all that you have seen, every action you've seen here is very, very possible. Just learn it, follow the sequence, and you do it easily. But I always like to advise this. Don't see it the way you're seeing it as if it's simple. It's, it's nothing. Whoever you learn, because when you learn, you have to learn it with an opponent. So be careful while learning. Otherwise, you end up injuring the opponent even before you meet with your enemy. Because your opponent right now is not the enemy. You are only using him to walk, to learn. So be careful and be soft on him. Just know the techniques. That's it. Okay, take care. Um, let me let me quickly give kudos to our uh, very already subscribers, our regulars. Keep watching, keep learning, and for our new timers, always remember subscribe, hit the bell, and leave your comments. Thank you.